It's the great content shift taking place across the industry. Hello again, everyone. I'm Tyler Pyron of the Pulse Network talking about the 2012 NAB show and some of the great things and great discussions that will be taking place at the NAB show. We're talking with Peter Mogg, the CMO of High Vision. Uh, Peter, let's now let's talk about IPTV multicast for the enterprise broadcast distribution because I think it's an interesting thing right now because more and more people and more and more large-scale enterprises are trying to well, broadcast simultaneously internally. But the security thing and the ease of deployment always seems to come into question, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. You know, I think are, are the two major segments that we see that need a lot of broadcast consumption are the media companies as well as large campuses. And, you know, when you take a broadcast head end and try to put it into that environment, you necessarily need to take advantage of multicast technologies in order to get high quality video signals from one place to the other to the decision makers and to the consumers. I think you hit the nail on the head again right there when you talk about campuses and large-scale companies because these are the people that are, in fact, utilizing this type of technology. Kind of tell me, you know, how it's evolved a little bit over time because, you know, this wasn't around and now we're seeing more people implement it here. Well, multicast has certainly been around for a long time, but what hasn't been around and understood is the security associated with it, right? And when you take a broadcast head end, either your internal channels to distribute to one and many facilities or whether you're doing a broadcast head end at a university, let's say, you really need to make sure that your system adheres to the to the content requirements of the people giving you the signals, right? So your system certainly take advantage of multicast, but it needs to be encrypted and you need to have tight usership, usership control on the consumption of that video so that people, only the people who can see certain channels can see them and certainly that nobody can copy the content. So the other thing, part of that, this equation really is how easy it is at this point in time because, you know, many moons ago, as we were saying, you know, multicast was around, but it would take a lot of manpower and a lot of time and effort to actually get it up and running. Talk about the ease of deployment now. Yeah, definitely. With with systems today, you know, especially high vision end to end systems, you can you can create broadcast head ends that take digital video broadcast or re encode the signals and through a central server topology, our, ours is called the furnace, simply light up that system and with an end to end security deploy that system very easily. But you can't forget about the player technology because you really need to have, in order to protect the content, really need to have true end-to-end -end control. And uh, High Vision's player technology in stream is software that's on demand and maintains a client-server relationship with the Furnace IP video distribution system. So people can light up the player very easily across any platform without installing the player and get a full, rich, broadcast media experience across any platform or on set-top boxes. He's Peter Mogg. His company is High Vision. Great stuff so far. I'm Tyler Pyburn of The Pulse Network. Another conversation leading up to the 2012 NAB Show.